Hello and welcome back to another session of Richard Katzman fly tying. And you see before you a uh, fly that I made, and it's a dragonfly. It's got the extended uh, body, and it's got the four wings and the legs. And this is what we're going to do today. And this one is built different than the last one that I did. This one is built on a tube as you can uh, see right here in the back part of it and the front part you can just barely make out the tube um, right here in the front and uh, I've had some people that asked me about the uh, hooks that go in the back because for some reason I haven't installing the hooks the way the uh, the hook that I'm using comes, uh, as you can see here, it's got, um, it's got a barb on the bottom, and it's got two barbs on, uh, on the top side. Let's see if I can get a picture of that. Uh, uh, here, there's two barbs here, and there's one right over there. What I do is I take and I mash down those barbs so that uh, they're flat against the hook and that way we don't tear up the fish's mouth when we catch them. Okay, so let's get started. We have uh, here a flexible tube. It's a uh, it's a small flexible tube, small to medium. I have here is my mandrel. And as you can see, I can twist that and it's, it's right on the money. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use dark brown thread. And it's a 6-0. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to dress the tube. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn the tube and apply the, the thread. Okay. Put in a half hitch knot at the back to hold that in place and pull my thread off to the side. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, take off the extra thread. Okay, uh, I put in a, uh, a mandrel, which is going to allow me to make the uh, extended body. I've got some uh, wax here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wax up the mandrel real well, so that it doesn't stick to it when I get ready to pull it off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, dark brown thread and I'm going to start at the front and get that started. I'm going to leave this long piece here so that I can use it later on. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a piece of foam which is uh, two millimeters by about four millimeters and I'm just going to put that on top of the uh, the mandrel and I'm going to put in uh, five or six turns and now I'm going to go around the mandrel twice and I'm going to put in another uh, section go around the mandrel twice Put in another section. These are about the same size. It's really a segmented body, so we're gonna we should really call them segments. Um, we'll go around the mandrel again twice, and we're always pinching the foam as we're doing this. Make sure you get the uh, thread on top of each other. Now we're gonna start to. Um, Go around the mandrel once. 
we're going to pinch it and the segments are going to start to get a little bit smaller just like in the real uh, dragonfly you can see the segments are nice and round they continue to get smaller towards the uh, back of the uh, body and we're just going to leave them about that size And this will be the uh, last segment I'm going to do. And I'm going to put in a uh, half hitch knot. And I'm going to follow that with a couple of whip finish knots. Pull that tight. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off the thread close to the body and we have this uh, this thread in the back there kind of got wrapped around and now the only thing is you just go ahead and you you pull the body off and there you have your segmented body and we're going to lay this on the side for a second and I'm going to change the mandrels out and I'm going to put in the uh, mandrel with the tube on it go ahead and tie that down tightly now I'm going to start my my thread again up front cut off the uh, excess thread and now I'm going to take the uh, segmented body and I'm just going to lay it down and as you can see it's it's just a little bit over where the tube starts and that'll help us uh, To hide the tube I'm going to take some crazy glue and I'm just going to go ahead and put it over the tube here and I'm going to go around the tube and I'm going to come down over the segmented part of the body now I'm on the third just past the second segment going on to the third we're going to tie down um, three segments on the tube. Three is enough. We've got to have the extended body sticking out. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in a half inch knot. Okay, make sure it's all lined up there. And I'm just going to cut off the extra thread from the back. Now on the back of the uh, extended body we're just going to uh, kind of make this into a, a point. So we're going to trim off some of the, uh, the foam and we got a nice little point here. Now I'm going to take uh, some legs, they're called grizzly flutter legs. They're yellow and uh, and black. 
And I'm going to go, just go ahead and uh, I'm going to tie that over the last segment that I tied. And I'm going to come on the other side of the leg. And now I'm going to do a figure eight. Tie this down. Okay. I'm just going to uh, hold these up so I can get a measurement. I'm going to reach in and cut off the uh, the excess legs. Now I'm going to move my thread up, staying uh, in the groove, in the uh, groove of the uh, segments. To tie it in. Now I'm going to measure these up, pull them up together, and just snip off to make sure they're just about the same size. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some eyes, and this is a, uh, a yellow uh, fluorescent chain bead. And I'm just going to reach over and take my chain bead, and I'm going to lay it down in that first segment. And again, I'm going to wrap my thread around that and around the leg. Make sure you don't get the leg caught with the thread. Now I'm going to take my, my cutters for the wire cutters, and I'm just going to snip that off. And now I'm going to come around, and I'm going to catch the eye on, the, on my side. And I'm going to take some turns. Just to make sure we have that straight. And now I'm going to do some figure eights. Okay, and now I'm going to just come around the two eyes and tie it just on, on the top of the uh, foam. Just go around and tighten it up. And then the next one, I'm going to go down and around. And I'm going to come to the front and go down and around. And I'm just going to cross over in the back. And I'm going to take some more of the uh, crazy glue. And I'm just going to be generous with the crazy glue and get it between the eyes here. turn over the fly so the bottom is up and I'm just going to put some more crazy glue on the uh, on the entire bottom of the tube covering the uh, thread and that'll really lock it down okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take some feathers that come from, you can use any kind of feathers you want, I'm using comes from uh, Whiting Farms, it's a 4B rooster cape variant. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, measure this. I want to, I don't want any more than about uh, two inches, so I'm going to pull back some of the fibers and, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and snip that off. And I'm going to lay it in behind the eyes. And like I said before, you got to make sure you don't get the legs in the way. Tie that up. 
would help if you also uh, try to position that as you go. Now I'm going to take another one. Again, I'm going to measure about two inches and I'm going to strip back the fibers and then cut off the end of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and just tie that in. I'm going to do a figure eight. around the uh, the feathers that I just put on Okay, and now we've got, we're going to take uh, two more, I'm going to measure that and strip off an inch and three quarters. Strip that back, and I'm going to go ahead in and snip that off. These should be just a little bit smaller than the uh, the first ones we put on in length okay make sure you uh, you have those uh, straights that are laying one over the other Keep your legs straight. Okay, and we're going to do the next one. Remember, it's an inch and uh, three quarters. Snip that off and tie the last one on. Okay, and if they're a little bit out of uh, skew here, don't worry about it too much. Uh, once we get uh, the, you know, the adhesive on here, it'll all straighten out. All right, that looks pretty, pretty good. Now we're just going to go around a couple of times. I'm going to go ahead and put in a... Uh, Half hitch knot. And I'm going to bring the uh, thread over the front and I'm going to tie it over a couple of times. Now I'm going to take my uh, whip finish tool and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in four or five whip finish knots reach in and cut that off okay next I'm going to take some head cement and uh, 
I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put some right over the feathers. Okay, and turn it over. I'm just going to make sure that we have it on both sides. Okay, and I'm going to bring some of that head cement over the front. Okay, now is the time to line them up if you're not happy with them. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, super glue and I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put some super glue in the bottom of the foam just run it over the back and now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to run some over all of the threads and also the tip of the uh, the fly where the foam is Okay, and now we're just going to reach in and we're going to snip off the corners of the foam in the front so it brings it to a to a point like we did in the back as you can see here okay I've got a leg that's kind of sticking out there got to make sure those are down Just wait a second until this uh, super glue sets up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to take some Loon's Thin Head uh, Finish, Fly Finish, and also my, uh, my UV Torch. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to spread some of the uh, that over the body, the foam. And immediately I'm going to uh, touch it off with the uh, torch. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over, and here's where we're going to straighten out the legs. If you have a problem with them laying flat the way they're supposed to, you put some uh, loons fly finish over the bottom, and let it run down onto the uh, leg, and then just set it with your torch. Okay, and that should have stiffened up the, the extended body pretty good. And I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow uh, Sharpie permanent marker. And I'm just going to go ahead and rub that up and down.
over the top of that a little bit. It's not going to show up really well because it's a brown body. But it's going to dull it just enough to make it look more realistic. And there you have it. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the mandrel out. Again, you have the uh, long tube sticking out of the back. And I'm just going to take a sharp scissors. And I'm going to come out about Oh, I guess it's about maybe eight millimeters, and I'm going to just cut that off. You should end up, you should end up with something uh, about that size. And. Uh, Now I'm going to take the hook that I had mashed down the barbs and I'm going to go ahead and push that into the uh, tube and uh, I'll put this on a alligator clip so you can see it and there it is. It's my drag, my dark brown dragonfly, and it's got uh, the legs are sticking out, and it looks pretty nice. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so, and you'll be uh, notified every time I upload a new uh, fly. Please tell your friends about my uh, channel and come back often. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day and tight lines.